How do you become a high EQ engineer and why should you care to? Now, engineer and emotional intelligence or EQ are rarely things you normally hear in the same sentence. Engineers typically have very low emotional intelligence. Normally engineers are not that calibrated with their emotions and not very good socially. So becoming a high EQ engineer can really set you apart from your peers in your engineering or technical organization. Now, when it comes to emotional intelligence, the bar is incredibly low for engineers because the average is so low that you don't really have to be that good to be quite an outlier. But I'm trying to give you the skills to become an extreme outlier. I used to be one of those stereotypical engineers that didn't know how to talk to people. And now one of my favorite things that I take great pride in is talking to someone for an hour or two and then disclosing that I'm an engineer and them saying, wow, I never would have thought. That brings me great pride because that shows how far I've come from where I was 10 or 12 years ago. Why do I bring this EQ topic up? Because I truly believe that as you raise up the technical ranks, your emotional intelligence matters more than your technical skills. Because as you get higher up, you get more into almost politicking and politics. So your technical skills, while they still are relevant and matter, your ability to understand processes and understand people and the way they interact starts to matter even more. Why should you care to become a high IQ engineer? You should care because it's gonna help you get further, faster. Becoming a high EQ is not only learning how to talk to people, that's more of a social intelligence topic, but EQ really is paying better attention to yourself and then to those around you. So you have four steps to EQ. You have self-awareness, self-management or self-regulation, empathy, and motivation. So the paying attention to yourself is those first two. So you really need to understand yourself. You can start with self-awareness, you can start watching a video on shadow work and why it's so important. And then you can start to work on regulating your emotions. So you can't regulate what you don't see yet or feel yet. That's why self-regulation or self-management is the second step because you need to be aware of that emotion so you can start to regulate it in a healthy way. These skills are great because they help you to understand your feelings better. And then if you have something that fires you up in a meeting or some person's acting in a disingenuous way or a frustrating way, you can learn how to tactfully bring awareness to that thing in the meeting while also maintaining your integrity and not throwing that person completely under the bus. So this is a nuanced topic here. And when it comes to the things that I'm sharing with you, I don't have any silver bullets for you. I am giving you some tools to where you can go make your own silver bullets but I cannot give you the silver bullets. You need to go find them for yourself or make them yourself. So becoming high EQ is one of these ways where you're gonna start understanding yourself better and then you can start to understand those around you better. So you're gonna be paying better attention to yourself and then to you and your group. The oxygen mask on an airplane is a perfect analog for EQ. When that mask drops, you need to put it on yourself first before you help others. So you need to have your emotions in check before you start to help others. If you have poor self-regulation, taking on negative emotions from someone might cause you to start circling the drain emotionally. Or even worse, if you start taking on positive emotions from someone and they start taking advantage of you, so this person almost becomes like a drug dealer where they're dealing you positive emotions, that can set you up for some serious failure. Becoming reliant on someone for positive emotion is another thing that can become incredibly dysfunctional. I've seen it a couple times in my career thus far, and it's never enjoyable to watch from afar, and I couldn't even imagine what it would be like to experience yourself. So don't do it. Pay better attention to yourself, pay better attention to others, see when they're trying to manipulate you, and then start to grow your professional network. So when it comes to becoming a high EQ engineer, the two number one rules, are pay attention and have integrity. So when it comes down to it, you need to be paying attention to yourself and those around you, and then you need to have integrity. What do I mean by having integrity? I want you to be showing up and doing the work every day, and you're not signing yourself up for things you don't intend to do. So you're not going to say you're gonna do things that you have no intention of doing. If someone asks you to do something and you have zero intention of doing it, don't tell them you're gonna do it. It sounds crazy when I just have to say it out loud like that, but just don't do it. So have some integrity for yourself. And when you show up consistently and are shown to have high work output, 
and you have integrity, and you've done some of that deep inner shadow work, so you're authentic, this is how you really can start to build a positive reputation that precedes you when you walk into a room or when people talk about you. Because the real question is, how do people talk about you when you're not there? I'm not trying to get you to dwell on that, but this is where you want to really have a positive reputation that precedes you, not a negative one. I know if you've been working for more than a few months, you will have heard, it's like, oh, be careful with this person, they do this. That is not a great thing to hear before you've even met that new person. That's not what I want for you. I want you to avoid that by having a positive reputation, by showing up, doing the work, and having integrity. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.